wants to quit now, um, only because she wants to prove like she doesn't need our help. But if this makes her want to quit, then we'll take it as a win. But I'm a little bit sad that it's kind of like out of this like resentment thing. Like I'd rather her do it because she wants to quit, not because it's like I don't want you buying me cigarettes. Kind of like that. Oh, you're kidding. Hello. Animal protections here. They can hear what you're saying. Okay. Hello. Hello, how are you? What's going on? I told him. I'm here to just make sure that your bunny rabbit is okay. Well, um, let's see where he's hiding. I don't know where he's here. hiding, but if I could see him, yeah. please. Casper, come here, baby. Come here, Bubble. Step over here, is that all right? Come here, Casper. Make yourself at home. Come here, baby. Make yourself at home. We've already vetted each other, I think. I think we understand each other. Yeah. We don't come as the enemy. We come as a friend to no, everybody. I mean, just, but we are our animal protection there. services. And, and we uh, want to make absolutely certain. Is, that, you know, he just enjoyed himself. In the I do. Yeah. Come here, come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, come, mama. Come he, he's a little shy. Hello, what color is your rabbit? White. White, white Vietnamese rabbit. Vietnamese? Oh, what do you call it? Viennese? Viennese? Oh. Okay. What are they called? Right, be it. You so know more about rabbits than I do. I don't. Someone <laughs> gave this to us. Someone from online gave it to us. Yeah, and and we love we love rabbits. So our joy loves there rabbits. He's beautiful. And his name is what? Casper. Okay, like the ghost. Can you face the camera? He's gonna want to pee on the bed right here. Oh, 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 hold on. A little brown. Um, can I take a picture of him so I can yeah. see him? He's, I saw him. Oh Absolutely. yeah, definitely. Here he's right around. There he goes. Okay. Hi, Casper. Let's see if I can make this thing work. Oh. <laughs> no, yes. the camera? He's nervous because... We, we always do the camera. He does that to he's us, He's nervous because there's people here. Yeah. Come here, baby. Come here. If it's possible to get him to come back. I'll get him. Yeah, he'll come back out. He's just nervous because there's new people here. So this is his... Here, he's about to come out right now. Come here, baby. Yeah, and then we we, we, we make this little tunnel system for him. Okay, so this is like a cat would play in the little tunnel. Well, he loves a little. He's right by that tunnel he right now. He's running around there, and then he goes up the stairs up to his little house. That's where he sleeps. Okay, well, this looks nice. It looks funny. It looks, you know, there's no um, no obnoxious odors. Oh, here he is. Okay, I, I, I want to take a picture of you, but I'll get him. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's just. Wait. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> From yeah. my perspective, the bunny looks fine. His living conditions look fine. I don't see an issue or problem in here. Um, the main thing that I'm concerned about at the moment is the altering. Yeah, we I'm need to. to my truck. I'm going to try to find some information for you. Yeah, you want to get a mitter because he's right. really a pain in the butt, quite honestly. I'll yeah. Write, I'll write a notice to you. It'll have information, names, phone numbers. You can help us out with that. We'll, yeah. We'll get it done. I'm going to do my best. And we'll get yeah, it done. When can we get this done? Yeah, Tell immediately him. because. Let's give him a time frame. Tell him, tell him how many days. The, um, tell his boss. Probably this week, yeah. We can get it done this week, yeah. Okay, so yeah. if you give us 30 days, uh, we'll get it done this week, but give us 30 days. Okay, I'll do that. Fair? This is the. Uh, well, this is the 12th of uh, October, so we can work that out. That's November 12th, easy. yeah. But so. let me go make some phone calls. Okay. okay. Right. Thank um, you for stopping by, officer. Do you have an ID I can have for a brief moment? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't know who you are, but I've spoken to this gentleman. Oh, you, you want your ID? Related? You want my, yeah, she's my wife. Who, oh, okay. Do you, you want my ID or his ID? ID? Whose ID? I, I prefer yours because yeah. we have your name associated oh, with everything. Oh, sure, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yours is in the office. Which... I, didn't, I didn't realize this was your wife. Okay. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Your ID is in the office. Here's CEO. Okay. Here he is. Now he's coming out. <laughs> he's pretty friendly. Rabbits are supposed to be pretty good pets. I've never had one. He's a pretty good pet. He's pretty friendly. Oh, here he comes. He takes him a second to warm up, does he? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does he chew wires? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Be careful he doesn't get electrocuted. <laughs> Thank you again. Okay, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to try to work all this out through the... Okay. Oh dear. Well, you guys see why we don't like blogging anymore. Well, now you guys get a perfect example. This is the third time animal protection has come for you guys saying I abused Casper. You see why we get frustrated. I never would ever abuse this little baby. He's my baby boy. Yeah, he's my baby boy. He got a little nervous with all the craziness going on here. Huh? What ain't going on? Huh? What's going on? Huh? You want anyone down? 
he got a little nervous with all the craziness. It would someone coming in here. That scares him. He says his heart's beating fast. He's not used to I think it scares him too when someone comes in with all of that stuff on, you know? Like, he doesn't know what to think of that. Like, because he uh, just sees us, you know, and then someone comes in. Like, it probably seems a little ominous to a bunny, you know, with all the gear. I don't know what he thinks, but it definitely scared him a little bit. He was, didn't want to come out from under the bed. Last time he had no problem coming out. It, 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 this time he got a little more scared. With the, I think he's getting tired of like, who are all these people coming in? This is the third one of your people coming in here. <laughs> uh, this is ridiculous. Um, this bunny is probably the most loved bunny on the planet. I mean, he is seriously spoiled rotten. And they can see that. That's why they keep seeing like, uh, there's no way this bunny's abused. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, literally we have, so I mean, it was perfect time. I mean, he's always out now. So even when I blog now, we put the cords up. And that's what he's saying, make sure he doesn't, too, because I didn't like him being stuck in his cage. So he's only in his hatch when we leave and at bedtime. That's it. The rest of the day, he's out. Because um, he's big now, and it, I like him hopping around. And now that I put this chair on the bed, he never comes to the bed. Like, I just put him on the bed. That's the first time. He doesn't even really want up here. He's like, he kind of went down. He's the bed is like, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't want anything to his bed anymore, which is great, ever since this chair. So... That was my only reason why I didn't have him out. Like, I used to not be able to leave the room because he would jump right on the bed and pee. But now he never comes on the bed. So I can leave the room. I don't leave the house. Like, if I leave the house, he gets put back in his hutch just for his safety. But I can leave the room for a little bit, you know, go to the garage, go to the kitchen, which I won't be doing anymore. But, you know, I would go uh, get, uh, pick up the kitchen, pick up Annette's room, go to the garage or something and leave him out. Whereas early on, I was having to, every time I left the room, have to put him back in his hutch, which was frustrating him because he'd be like, you just let me out. And put me. So now I don't do that anymore. So it's really great. He just roams all day. That's what he was doing when the animal patrol came. He has two litter boxes. He's got a box that we, <laughs> look at this thing. This, look at this, his, look at this Casper. Uh, so he's got his two litter boxes, his carrots, his box, his makeshift box, his tunnel, his uh, ladder up to his uh, door there. See, he likes to go in his... When he, he goes in his case when he's ready. He does, he'll take those, he'll go up those ladders and go up there and through his own window up there. And then it's really cute when he does that. Because I'm like, oh, he's ready for bed. I really like when he does that. But sometimes he does it and he doesn't actually want to be in his cage. It's funny. So sometimes he'll go in there and he'll be ready for bed. Other times he goes in there because he just wants to go check it out or something and then I'll close the door and I'll be like ah uh -uh, and then he pushes it it's funny he lets me know if he wants it or not he'll push on the door it's cute he's a, he's a kid okay so he's gonna get us some numbers and okay good. um oh, I can't believe that we're literally just talking about that today talking about how lame it is to uh waste the resources uh. on f prank calls yeah. I mean you guys didn't you learn that prank calls are pretty lame in like elementary school yeah. yeah. Oh, oh did you, your, your refrigerator's running. Go catch it, kind of stuff. You know what I mean, it's just like ridiculous. Like, you guys are acting so immature and you're wasting the resources of services that are needed. And that's really fucked up. Like, for real. For real, what you're doing is wrong. Because you don't just hurt our family. You waste the resources that are needed for real things. Like, especially with, um, okay. When you call the police, that literally someone could be dying. But with the animal, an animal could be dying. So, yeah. I mean, and he came over thinking like there's something serious. Then there could be an animal dying while he's here. Uh, an animal that is loved to death, <laughs> loved to death, <laughs> ever uh, is. Like I said, <laughs> anyways, um, but what's lame is like. You guys think it's funny. Like, you, you get off on this, like, uh, what do they call it? What do they call it? Swatting? But it's so bad. Like, it's so... No, I'm not just saying to our family. I'm saying that anyone doing this at all, like, you are wasting resources on people online. That's insane when you know they're not doing anything wrong. Like, that's happening to other people online. They're doing, like, they'll send, like, SWAT teams to people's houses and stuff. Like, that is, like, so wrong. Do you guys understand that... Like the level of sickness of your head to waste the resources of resources that are needed to save people's lives on prank calls. Like that's like it's it's so many levels of wrong.
so it, it like I don't know why you think that there's any excuse or uh, like any like okay like where is any way that you're right for what you're doing does that make sense like where you're like where you're in the right no you're 100% in the wrong because even if something was going on it's not the way you go about it anyways because you don't find out something from a live stream that's going to everybody and then you be the one to be go call the authorities like that doesn't even make sense like if it's on a live stream it's legal what's going on they don't let illegal activities occur jack doherty no they shut down jack doherty because he got in an accident and he was t texting doesn't matter why they shut him down on his site because that was showing reckless behavior so if we were doing something illegal in here or that reckless. was being shown or reckless, they would shut down our account so we're not so what you guys are saying that you're seeing is not reckless and is not and uh, violating anything so you're lying do you understand because if it was you wouldn't even be seeing it they would shut us down if we were literally abusing gloria and annette and showing that they would shut that down the only reason why they came out was because was because someone sent them a video of me petting the rabbit and you know i pet with the rabbit and i would give it a massage they said that i was i was abusing the rabbit and so they sent the video so they said the supervisor hey thank you Make Robert safe again. I'll always say hi to G and oh, hi. Matico Dillard, thank you. Thank you, Matico. Thank you for $2. Thank you. Do the dance. dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Yeah, we're, we're a little bit <sighs> upset. That no, but because they wouldn't come out, but, but basically they kept, they kept calling and, um, and then they sent video of me petting the rabbit and, and he said, I saw the video. He said, I wouldn't call it abuse. But my supervisor said, come out here and just, you know what I mean? It's like you keep, they keep harassing them. So basically wasting resources, like you said. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's actually, it's so, I don't even know how to like even say like how wrong it is. Like, it's like, I don't know how you guys think that like, like, I don't know how you in your brain go, this is okay for me to do because I hate Joy so much and she's such an awful person that I can go waste all these resources and make fake prank calls about their family because joy is so awful so that gives me the right to do that How i'm not awful that? and it doesn't give you the right ever even if i was my 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 actions will never be an excuse for your actions doesn't work that way judgment day they're not going to say what did joy do <laughs> what did joy do Oh, they should. What they would should Joy say, do? What would Joy do? How WWJD? <laughs> um, but you can't say I did a prank call because Joy was an awful person. Oh, so you waste the resources and uh, utilize government um, agencies that are needed for uh, for real problems because you hate Joy so much. Sorry, doesn't matter what Joy did. You're the one that made the problem. You're the one that made the bigger. Bigger sin. Because Joy didn't even sin. What I'm doing is not a sin. You guys just think it is. Oh, no. Did you have your breakfast? It's not. Sex is not a sin. Only stupid religions say that. Doesn't mean it's true. Something natural that is used for creating life is not a nasty thing and never will be, no matter how many people you ha engage in sex with. It doesn't make it bad. Just because you guys don't like Do your breakfast? moral standard. No, I haven't had breakfast yet because I want to be off here, but I'm still talking to these guys because the Animal Patrol got called. Oh um, yeah, you think. Okay. Listen, just because you guys think you have your morals, that's not going to work on Judgment Day. Because God doesn't have a problem with sex. But he does have a problem with hateful, nasty people that waste resources on things that could be saving other people's lives and you potentially could kill someone when you waste the resources on fake calls. Okay, I can tell that you guys, she's very upset by this call again, of course. And she hasn't had a breakfast, so Joy, eat your breakfast. We'll come out and we'll talk to Annette or we'll talk to me. Hey everyone. 
How are we all doing today? Yeah, we used to have a lot of rats roses. Fortunately, we got rid of them. Oh, man. Dude, I had a job. My job, the problem was is sending money here does, doesn't solve the problem. I know for a lot of you guys that you think that money solves the problem. Roses, tell me, tell me, tell me what's your job? What is your job, Roses? Tell me. Actually, Presley, tell me what your job is. Ready, go. What's your job? What job do you do? What do you do for a job? Go. I'll wait and then and I'll respond to you because I need to know who I'm talking to. You ask me a question, it's only fair. You go. What's your job? Roses. Oh, doesn't have a job. Right. People who are asking me to go get a job don't have jobs. Their husbands have jobs. They're sitting here <laughs> bitching about Joy's husband not having a job. Hey, Roses, where's your husband? Why don't you go bitch at your husband? Oh, forgot. He left you. <laughs> and the kids. Probably because you're such a nag. Just like you're nagging me. He's like, fuck that bitch. She's always telling me to get a job. Fuck her. I had a job. <laughs> it was getting rid of roses. <laughs> Sorry, roses. I know. Being lonely is, is, is not something to joke about. Isolation sucks. I've been there. And it sucks being undesired and unwanted. So I understand why you're here. And I understand why you're jealous of Joy. And I understand why you come in here and criticize her husband. Because your husband left you. <laughs> 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 Sorry, just too funny, Roses. You're in here because your husband left you. <laughs> and so you're, hey, that guy, he's not a good, so you're nagging on Joy's husband because Joy doesn't do enough, the nagging that you did on your husband to make him leave. Oh, yeah, you can deny that, that, yeah, you can say whatever you want in the chat room, but we all know, Roses, you're on your, at least you're, you're alone. You're, you're not with anybody. And you had someone and they left you. Okay. So what are we working on now today, guys? I work 70 hours a day, says Gary, AKA Midge. Right, the guy who pretends to be a female, right? Gary, pretends to be a female named Midge, tells me they work 70 hours a week while they spend at least 20 hours a week in, on my chat room. <laughs> Midge, Gary, you crack me up. That is like... <laughs> By the way, most of you couldn't... I'll give Midge credit for at least coming up with a lie to pretend like they had a job. <laughs> Midge, you forget. I, you, I've been hanging out with you for the last six months. I know everything about you. You can't lie to me. Can't lie to the room. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of you didn't come up with anything. You just like did like emojis, laugh, laugh, laugh. Right. Now, so all of you telling me, telling me he enjoyed to go get jobs don't have jobs. Just so you know, we're paid to be here right now. You guys, you guys actually have to pay to be here. You have to watch commercials or pay a fee. So, I mean, I don't know. You tell me, you tell me who's working. Unless you're, do, do you guys get paid to come here and troll me? I mean, does your job let you do that? Because that's a pretty that's a pretty easy job, just so you know. It's kind of like do people pay people to to, to watch OnlyFans? <laughs> I mean, is anybody ever been paid to watch OnlyFans? I mean, because I would love that job, right? What what guy wouldn't love a job where they paid you to watch OnlyFans? Right, it doesn't really work that way, guys. No, the OnlyFans people get paid, and and you pay to watch them. Right, I'm your only fan. Me, I'm your only fan. <laughs> you guys are here. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> We're doing some work. Someone said I should get a job, so I should do some work. I paid Mr. Google, he's my dad. 
I wish. Do you, hey, let me ask you a question. Mitch, do you wish you had a rich dad, like, like your dad was wealthy, like Mr. Google wealthy, or do you wish that you would be Mr. Google? Which which would be better? Would it be better to be Mr. Google or Mr. Google's son? How's Gloria doing today? I don't know. Let's see. Gloria! Everyone say hi. How are you today? Hi. Oh, she's tired today. She went on a long walk. Hi. Hello. I want to go dancing tonight. Today's, today's Saturday, right? Today's Saturday. So just take me to the... To the you want to go dancing tonight? Yes. Yeah. Where do you want to go? The same place, I guess. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember the name. The Ramparts? Ramparts. Yeah, we'll go to Ramparts. Yeah, I like to get out. Okay, we'll, get you, we'll take you dancing. Okay. What time do you want to go? I'll say about... Don't, well, usually music starts about 8, so maybe 7. You want to make her at 7? Okay. Just to get a spot. Yeah, get yourself a spot. Okay. You got it. Okay, thank you. Oh, because they keep calling. Yeah, they said they said we were abusing the bunny. So they had to come out because every time they get a call, they have to. Yeah, they, they, they said we have to have a video and they sent a video and the video is questionable. So they said, just go out there. It was a, I don't know. Maybe it must have been a slow day over there. Yeah. You know, so we just, we let him in. I gave him, we, we get, he's still here actually. He's still, I think he's still here, right? No, I think he's still here. Yeah, he was going to give me something. Yeah, he's still here. He's, 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 he's fight. Okay, what he's discovering is what we told him. There's not a lot of places in, in Las Vegas that neuter bunnies. And we called, I mean, Joy called at least five places, and she couldn't find a place that, that did that did bunnies. And he said, okay, I'll call my supervisor. He said, so if he's been out there for like 15 minutes. They're probably calling around, finding the same thing we found out. Uh, yeah, it, it, but it's just a, it doesn't matter that, that we don't have a female. What matters is that it's a law, that you have to have it neutered at a certain age if it's an indoor pet bunny. So, yeah, Gloria was saying that we don't have a female, so how are we going to, you know, what, what, why do we have to have it neutered? And I said, well, because they have a law, they have to have it neutered. Which we want to do anyways. We wanted to do it last time because it's really driving us crazy, quite honestly. But we couldn't find a place to do it, so we were like, okay. So I asked him, I said, could you find us a place to do it? And he's still, he, it, well, however the last time you guys saw him, he's still out the driveway trying to find a place that neuters bunnies.
good lawyer. Um, I have a good lawyer. I just can't afford him. So, <laughs> I need a really good pro bono lawyer. Yes, yes, a legal scam. You saw that one. That dark uncle, that guy, he actually cracks me up quite honestly. I think he's funny. I like him, I like, I like Isla Christie. We got, we got some information. We got the information on. Bring the piece of paper. Hello, officer. I have stuff for you. Okay, great. Um, let me give you your license first. Yes. Thank you. Um, this is my business card. It has the number to dispatch 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Okay. On the back of this card is an event number for today's event. Okay. For the rest of eternity, this will associate with what we're dealing with today. Oh, jeez, eternity. Okay. So if you contact these people yeah. and you give them that number, they'll, they'll be able to look up my memo in my computer system. Okay. My email is highlighted right here. Yeah. And I've included an email on the back to my supervisor. So if you send me an email, if you send me uh, pictures of that uh, certificate you're going to get when yeah. you get your animal done, yeah. include her on it so everybody's in the loop, okay? Gotcha. So hold on to that. Please don't lose it. Um, I made numerous phone calls looking for a vet, and you're right. A lot of veterinarians don't do this. You found one, though. But I found one of the vet, a very good vet, one that we like a lot. Okay. That's um, Lone Mountain Animal Hospital. That's that's not the one. This one that doesn't. Okay, let, let, let me get a pen. I've written it down. Oh, it's sick. on the back. It's oh. on this card. Maybe on the front of the card. Oh, like there it Lone is. Lone Mountain Animal Hospital. Oh, excellent. So that's one that's close to you that can do this. There's another one in Henderson, so it's a lot farther out. But if you need that number, I can give it to you also. You'll have to talk to them about making an appointment, what the cost is, those kind of things. Of course, we could tell them um, that. Okay, so you so know I just that. needed the number because we were calling around. We couldn't well, find anybody. They assured me that they do it. Okay, great. Fantastic. Um, I've created what we call a notice here. I think you've seen a few of these yeah. before. But what it is, it's, it's got the same activity number up here. I need to finish those numbers out. Um, but I've circled what needs to be done. It's okay. a notice to neuter a rabbit, Casper, by yeah. or before. We're giving you to the end of November. Oh. So 1130, okay? okay? So we need to, it says by or before. If you get it done sooner, let me know. Absolutely. If I don't hear from you by or before 1130, it says... See above memo, and then yeah. it said a citation will be issued for non-compliance. Okay. So if you don't do it by then, you're going to get a ticket. Okay, that sounds um, good. And so I put your name here and your address. Um, uh, again, it's got our phone number here. 
So, and I'm going to give you a copy. This one's mine, but you get the one underneath, which right. I highlighted all those things. So you'll have this. And your name is Officer P. Hawk. Yeah, first name is starts with P and last name okay. is Okay, I don't need That's your first name, but... And so just give me a signature here somewhere to show that you, you understand I'm going to guess it's Peter. <laughs> no, <laughs> come on. <laughs> uh, you could do it at the very bottom where it says ID would be fine. This one right here? Yeah. Sign? Yeah. Okay. Please. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, guys. Um... I would like to ask you, I've been informed to, to say to you that we've also been told that you feed wild rabbits out of your back window. Yes. We would suggest that's a really bad idea. Okay. Because it lures in the coyotes. Ah. So you're, you're basically creating food for the coyotes. I see. So now you're attracting coyotes and pigeons and other animals that really shouldn't be in do, this neighborhood. Do, do, you know, do you know that uh, everyone around here feeds the bunnies? They probably do. <laughs> We're the only ones. <laughs> I would say that to everybody that would come out. Okay. I would explain okay. the same thing. It's a yeah. bad idea because okay. you are creating an environment that would yeah. encourage other animals which should we, be. We, we have coyotes people. out here. Yeah, I know you do. We <laughs> try to chase them out all the time. But yeah. if you don't mind, please discontinue doing that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and take good care of your animal. We won't be back specifically just, we're not here to harass you, but if we get a complaint that someone has a picture of you abusing an animal, yeah. we have to come. I understand. So please use discretion when you're doing your videos and don't look and act aggressively towards them. Okay? Of course not. All right? Absolutely not, sir. We're on the same page? Thank you, Officer Hawk. Thanks for speaking to me. Okay, you have a great you day. You have our emails. Please remain I do. in contact. Hopefully I won't see you uh, tissue a well, stop my, well, hopefully not for that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you some other time, though. You, you may. Thank you're, you you're out much. here. Call us if it was nice meeting you, by the way. I hope you enjoyed in, engaging with the live stream and all I that. Did. Thank you. It's a little bit different world. It is. Thank you, officer. Thank you. Have a good day. See, very, very professional, very nice. All of the animal control have been great. Which is great because, like he said, it was, oh, we just got to get it neutered. Like, we were calling around. Joy's been wanting to get him neutered. We just couldn't find a place to do it. He had to call around. He had found, finally found a place, and he gave me the name. So, oh, Joy jumped in the shower. So, now, at that stage, okay, Joy, let me give you the update. What's going on? So, here's the update. 